treating osteoarthritis neatly. Today we'll be talking about OA and the MAKO, Robotic Arm Assisted Total Knee Arthroplasty Procedure. Our knees are the largest joints in our body and are essential for everything we do. If you or a loved one is suffering from OA, everyday activities such as walking, sitting, and kneeling can feel debilitating. OA affects nearly 7 million people in Canada today. It is predicted that by 2030, approximately 9 million Canadians will be dealing with OA. So, what is osteoarthritis? Well, first, this is a picture of the knee. This is the joint, and the light purple part is cartilage. Let's take a deeper look. So what is cartilage? Cartilage is tough, rubbery substance that protects the ends of bones. In osteoarthritis, this cartilage starts to break down. Other causes of OA include torn cartilage, dislocated joint, and any ligament injuries. But what exactly happens to your joints in severe OA? First, bone spurs, which are small growths of bone, form. Because the cartilage wears away, the joint space narrows, and that causes bone to move against bone. Accordingly, the symptoms of OA include pain, stiffness, inflammation, and decreased range of motion. Common treatments include weight loss, exercise, corticosteroid injections, NSAIDs, wearing knee braces, wearing heel wedges, physiotherapy, and total knee arthroplasty, also known as TKA. Now, let's talk about total knee arthroplasty, or TKA. TKA is a surgical procedure where metal and plastic parts are used to cap the ends of bones that form the knee joint along the kneecap to allow for pain relief. In other words, TKA addresses osteoarthritis and its symptoms by surgically adding new bone ends. Did you know that OA is the most common form of arthritis and the most common chronic joint condition in Canada? Accordingly, 75,000 TKAs were performed in Canada from 2018 to 2019 to address osteoarthritis. Let's now talk about how TKA is performed by orthopedic surgeons. The kneecap is moved to one side and the damaged cartilage and joint is cut away along with some of the bone underneath. The damaged cartilage and bone are replaced with metal implants to make for new joint surfaces. These metal pieces are held in place with cement or they are press fit into your bones. The underside of your kneecap may also get a new surface. A plastic spacer is put between the metal parts of your new joint to make a smooth gliding surface for your joint. Your surgeon will bend and rotate your knee to make sure it works the way it should before closing the cut he made. New technology is constantly being invented to optimize procedures and reduce complications. Now, TKA is being combined with a new technology that is revolutionary in the field of orthopedics. Meet the Mako Rio robot. The Mako robotic arm assisted technology system uses 3D imaging technology and miniaturized surgical instruments. This system is used by surgeons to perform total knee replacement surgery. This unique technology helps surgeons provide a personalized surgical experience where each surgical plan is based on patient-specific diagnosis and anatomy. Let's take a look at how it works. There are four basic steps for using the MAKO technology. Step one, preparing a personalized surgical plan. Step two, conducting a range of motion assessment. Step three, arthritic bone removal. And step four, placing the implants in the joint. The first step is that the surgeon will create a personalized surgical plan. CT data is collected to create a 3D model of the patient's bone anatomy. The MAKO Total Knee application allows you to position the metal implants on the patient's virtual anatomy before the procedure. This specific preoperative plan allows for a more optimal size, placement, and alignment of the implant. The second step is assessing the range of motion. During the surgery, the surgeon locates points on the knee to register the anatomy on the MAKO system. This process allows the surgeon to align or match the patient's anatomy in the OR and the 3D model that was used during the planning process. This ensures the procedure is executed according to plan. Once the anatomy is registered to the 3D model, the surgeon has the flexibility to modify the preoperative plan based on their assessment of the patient's anatomy and range of motion. The next step is the removal of the arthritic bone. During this step, the Mako robotic arm removes the arthritic bone and cartilage from the knee. 
A virtual boundary provides tactile resistance, which helps prevent the surgeon from moving from the restricted boundaries in the surgery plan. The final step is the implant placement, which goes into the joint after having the diseased bone removed. After this, the surgical procedure is now complete, but the patient must go into the recovery room to strengthen the new joint. Like every technology, Mako has both benefits and drawbacks. We'll first describe some benefits. Firstly, this procedure enables surgeons to execute their surgical plans more accurately. This is because the patient's personalized surgical plan is based on their anatomy. Another benefit is that the Mako arthroplasty procedure is precise and thus reduces the risk of complications. The robot helps the surgeon locate the cuts in predefined areas and helps the surgeon to avoid moving out of those boundaries. Additionally, the Mako procedure leads to less pain and has a quicker recovery time than the traditional joint replacement procedure. Patients who received the Mako surgery reported lower pain scores, early function scores, and better satisfaction scores six months after the surgery than those who received a conventional joint replacement. The reason behind this is because the Mako procedure is more accurate and has a higher level of precision. Further, following the procedure, patients experienced reduced blood loss and less scarring as the incision was smaller compared to conventional surgical methods. In addition, there was less wear and tear on the implants, reduced loosening of the implant, and the soft tissue and ligaments of the patients were better protected following the Mako-assisted TKA instead of the conventional TKA. Just like every other procedure, Mako-assisted TKA has its disadvantages. Firstly, this system is not accessible to everyone as it is extremely expensive to buy and operate. Secondly, Performing the Mako assisted TKA requires extensive training and experience to optimize the workflow of the procedure. Some surgeons may feel more comfortable performing the conventional joint replacement surgery that they are used to. Further, surgical times of the Mako assisted TKA are slightly longer than conventional joint replacement surgeries. This may prevent surgeons from recommending this procedure as longer procedure times may increase the risk of infection for patients. A final disadvantage is that the Mako-assisted TKA is a relatively new procedure. There is only early evidence of its efficacy in treating osteoarthritis. So, it is difficult to evaluate the long-term performance of the implant in comparison to the proven efficacy of prosthesis used in traditional joint replacement procedures. The Mako Rio technology was first introduced in 2006, and since then, it has gained quite a bit of traction in the scientific and medical communities. Steve Jobs once said that once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. And it is this Mako Rio technology that is revolutionizing the field of orthopedics. We hope that you were able to learn a little bit about osteoarthritis, the revolutionary Mako robotic arm, and its application with total knee arthroplasty through this video. To learn more about osteoarthritis, TKA, or the Mako robotic arm, you can visit the following resources. Thank you for watching our video. Please share it if you liked it and learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe to the McMaster University Demystifying Medicine channel to stay up to date on science, technology, and health topics. Until next time, that's goodbye for now.